We're going to be going over a duplex with some hidden value. Most folks are missing the ball on this one. A model from Tampa, Florida. This is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, we've got Tommy cutting up the footage, bringing you all those fancy charts. Now, today's show, this is a cool show. This is for my guy, Amato from Tampa, Florida. Amato, you actually used to live in Cleveland, and uh, you have been watching a ton of Holton Wise TV. You've really done your homework. You know what you're talking about because you've lived here and because you're watching <clears throat> a lot of our content. So thank you for that, man. Uh, you actually grew up in the Clark Fulton area, which you have correctly identified as a D-class neighborhood. And what you'd want to do now, you're out of state now, you're, you're down in Tampa, Florida. You want to invest back here in your hometown, Cleveland. Now you're looking uh, for a B or C property. You're looking to get a duplex. <clears throat> you have a loan, 30-year fixed loan. You got 30 k in cash, $25,000 to use in a 401k if you need more, but you were actually approved for up to $200,000. Now, the cool thing about what you did, Amato, and I, and I really like this, man. You laid out for me a Word document, super organized, three pages. You even did the highlighting, and I took some notes on it as well for some things I wanted to hit. This is smart, and this is awesome. So everybody else who's watching Amato's video, uh, when I do eventually launch this live, probably a good 60 or 90 days after Amato sees it, Take notes, man. Do that. Send me all of your information. Uh, some of you guys, you know, I ask you guys some questions and you guys, you don't want to bombard me uh, with like your whole life story or something like that. But hey, give me as much information about you as you possibly can. You guys are paying for the service, right? The MLS Search and Analysis Show. You know, this show, <clears throat> this particular product. You are just telling me your story, what you want to do, where you're at, what you've done before, what you hope to accomplish. So the more information I have about you, the better I can tailor uh, the product to you and what you want. Because that, you know, that's what it's about. Don't think that you're giving me too much information. You guys are paying me rather well to do these videos. So thanks, Amato, for giving me so much info about you. And everyone else, please follow his lead. Now, <clears throat> some things that I was... Uh, want to go through with you before I even get into the property, Amato. Uh, you like the old Brooklyn area, and you're interested in Parma. Um, but you want your first home to be a single family, and then after that, you're thinking about branching out, maybe, you know, throwing in some more... Or, I'm sorry, you want your first home to be a duplex, rather. Your first investment, you want that to be a duplex, and after that, you're thinking about branching off into some singles. Uh, the property I'm, I'm going to do for you today is in the old Brooklyn area. That's a C-class area. You want it to be C or B. You also liked Parma. Uh, we cannot get into Parma in a duplex for 79 k right now uh, with where the market is. The only time ever was during the crash <clears throat> several years back. Um, right now, to get a duplex in Parma, minimum 130 k probably 130 to 160 k is where you're looking. Now, you're pre-approved for that amount. But you wanted to stay under 79. So, like I said, I, I found you a C-class property, C-class duplex in Old Brooklyn. Now, you actually got two videos from me. Uh, you cashed in on one of the buy one, get one deals that we normally run. Um, so, everybody else out there, make sure, in addition to subscribing to Holton Wise TV on, uh, on YouTube, you click the show notes below and subscribe to our daily email list where we send you properties every day at 1 p.m. And we also run specials. Uh, like holiday sales, um, you know, around all the holidays, we like to offer folks buy one, get one deals. And that's what Amato did. So your next video, um, after you watch this video and see what we're talking about, maybe this property works for you. Maybe you're going to like it. Uh, 
If not, you could adjust your um, criteria and your expectations a little bit, and maybe we'll go a slightly different direction on your second video. And, uh, you know, just since I'm so excited about all the organization and I'm really excited to do this video for a guy who's from Cleveland and chose to invest back in the Cleveland market, anybody else who's watching this video, if you want to buy your own MLS search and analysis product, uh, simply go to HoltonWise.com, okay? Click the property search for sale tab and then click the MLS search and analysis show and then right down here, these are going to be all the products and services. Um, Pick any one of them you want, <clears throat> whether you want the setup where you find the property and then I just tell you if it's good or bad, good or bad deal, or like a motto here, you give me all the information you can about yourself and I try to find a perfect match for you. Anyone you want, go ahead and buy anyone and then send me an email saying, hey, I watched your video with a motto. I bought this product. You said you'd give me a free one. Anybody who's watching, you're going to get a BOGO because my guy Amato got a BOGO. So just send me an email after you buy it. You know, you're going to get a receipt from PayPal. Copy that in there. Say, hey, man, I want to cash in my BOGO. And then we'll do the one video for you. And then after you watch that video, we'll get deeper in depth with you. And, you know, we'll talk about the things you did like or the things you didn't like from that video. And then perhaps the second video, we might need to shift gears a little bit. <clears throat> so... Another thing I wanted to talk to you about, Amato, before I even get into the property, you had two questions for me, which were great questions. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, essentially, the first question is, because this is going to be your first you know, investment in rental real estate, and you're worried about the housing bubble, right? You grew up in Cleveland in the 90s, and you've you know, seen Cleveland you know, in some rough times. Uh, we're doing pretty hot right now. And then, of course, we had the the major housing crash, uh, you know, about 10, 11, 12 years ago, right? The the huge crash, right? Well, even a little bit longer, actually, right? It was 2008 when the bottom started falling out, right? 2007, 2008, somewhere in there, right? And uh, the prices dropped everywhere. Uh, they dropped here in Cleveland, like record lows. And your question to me is, if, if that were to happen again, is that going to affect your portfolio? Is that something you should be worried about? I don't think so. Uh, I don't. I don't believe it's a, a big risk. Number one, I don't think we're ever going to have a crash like that. That was a once in a lifetime type crash. We're talking like historic lows, major problems, and. Uh, even when that happened, your, your question to me was, will that affect the renting prices? And that's my second point. Not really, dude. The The rental prices here in Cleveland were pretty much one of the cheapest places to live in the United States of America. So you're already, like, at the basement, right? So there's really nowhere for them to go. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> I actually got into the business during the crash, right? Uh, I started... Uh, I bought my first particular property. I started Holton Wise in 2009, right when we were at the bottom. So do I think if you buy properties and then we see a major recession or a major crash, it's going to just totally destroy your business? No, because out of that crash, I was able to build my business. And since then, I've sold over $150 million worth of real estate. We run a $50 million portfolio. And, you know, you watch a lot of the content here on Holton Wise TV. So y you know what we got going on. You know our story. Um, so <clears throat> hopefully that gives you a little bit uh, of solace knowing that I, I don't see a crash being a major risk to your portfolio. Folks got to live somewhere, and if we provide them nice housing, uh, I think you'll be just fine. And your second question, <clears throat> uh, I've spoken a, a, a lot about uh, a $1 billion investment that Metro Health is doing uh, in the Cleveland area. And Metro Health, that's more in the Clark Fulton area wh where you're from. And you were asking me about that and, you know, how's that going to affect things? Um, and if you should, uh, you know, really invest heavily over in that particular area. And at this time, I, I don't necessarily want you to because you do seem a little risk adverse, right? You seem like, and I'm not saying that as, that it's a bad thing it's just it's your first investment and you're 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 optimistically cautious we'll, we'll say right and um <clears throat> you don't necessarily 
want to get into the Section A and the rougher stuff, even though you're familiar with Clark Fulton, you know that it's, it's kind of rough over there. So uh, I think there's a lot of upside to investing in the Clark Fulton neighborhood. And uh, I think for those folks who are willing and ready to take on the challenges of a D-class neighborhood, I think that's a perfect D-class neighborhood. Uh, but for you, I want to go the other way, right? For you, I want to start things with this C-class property that I found for you. And then possibly after this video, I'd like you to consider maybe increasing your budget. If you, if you decide you don't want to buy this property, possibly increasing your budget uh, and, and going up over a hundred thousand dollars, or maybe looking into a single-family home, so we can look at uh, some B-class stuff for you. Because you know your goal is to build something bigger, uh, and I always think we should start with the lowest risk stuff first, and then as you know your portfolio grows, your business grows, your experience in the game grows, uh, then maybe you can take on some larger risks. So for you right now, I wouldn't even focus on any of the Metro Health stuff because it's not, in my opinion, probably not going to affect. Uh, this particular property all that much. I think you're going to see like a lot of nicer stuff happening in that immediate area. But I, I, I think the, the risk tolerance right now still too high for where you want to be on your first deal. So with all that said, dude, let's get in to the first pro this property that I found for you, right? This is 3008 Montclair Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. And this bad boy is listed for $89,900. And it has been on the market for 212 days. And that, my friend, is the hidden value. That's why I chose this. I think this property has got a lot of good stuff going on that everybody else is missing out on. Quickly, I just want to show you the pictures. And th don't get shocked, bro. They they aren't going to be hot. It's not going to look good. But that's why everybody else has looked at this listing for over 200 days, and nobody wants it. By the way, it's listed by a company called Town West Realty. All right, so just a traditional old Brooklyn duplex right here. <clears throat> now, there's a couple clues in this particular picture uh, that tell us really good stuff and they tell us really bad stuff. What I think most people see when they see this particular picture is they see like a ghetto fabulous. Let me make this a little smaller. It's a little blurry. This is right off the MLS, guys, so I'm not the one who took these photos, so don't uh, crush me if they look blurry when you blow them up. Not my fault. I don't have any control over that. But what is so awesome about this, what I see here, I see, well, what, what everyone else sees, actually, is they see this tarp. They see this shitty-ass driveway with weeds growing up in it. They see this thing. I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe it's a mattress. <laughs> I don't know, but it's fucking shitty, right? Uh, you got garbage everywhere, right? They see a ghetto fabulous looking slum, dude. It looks crappy. It looks crummy. That photo is like, ugh. I don't really like that. I don't want to deal with people that live like that. They're living like savages, right? Y'all watch the Tennis from Hell show. I talk about savages all the damn time. But that's not what I see, dude. I see money. I see a ton of money in this picture. Why? Because of this stair set right here, dude. All right? This thing right here is dollar signs for you. That's why this is a hidden deal. That's why this deal is is actually going to be good now it's currently being operated as a duplex okay and we got two tenants one tenant is paying 500 a month the other tenant is paying 600 a month so they're bringing in one thousand one hundred dollars a month out of this property thirteen thousand two hundred a year just cruising through the rest of the photos right it looks shitty on the outside just you know this bathroom nothing good i even see like some you know a little bit of like mold you get when people don't clean their shower regularly. So I'm sure these tenants are not that awesome. The inside, nothing fancy, right? It's being ran like a, you know, like a low income rental property, right? They painted everything all one color here, right? You don't even see a different color between the wall and the trim. And they got some crummy carpet here as opposed to refinishing the beautiful hardwoods, right? That's just a sign that the, the particular owner... You know, he's not trying to spend a lot of money on this particular property, right? Um, but these are all things that are going to help you uh, because I think there's some serious hidden value here, right? 
Okay, nice, nice fireplace. It is capped, which is good for liability purposes. You see this right here. This is this is it being capped. You don't want to allow your tenants to actually be able to have active fireplaces in your rental properties, folks. That is a, a major insurance liability. So you definitely want to cap all those, right? So those are the photos. And with the price point and the low rents and the fact that it all looks savage, looks gross, looks shitty, I think that's why people are passing on it. That's why it's been on the market for 212 days. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reap has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reap is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. If you run the numbers, right, doing our normal estimates, which I'm sure you're familiar with the model. I'm sure you've probably watched a ton of these MLS analysis shows. You said you've been watching the content. So uh, I'll cruise through this quickly, right? 1,100 comes in. We're estimating 55 for the repairs, maintenance, uh, vacancy, non-payment, CapEx, taxes. They're going to be 166 a month. Insurance, if everybody else who's watching doesn't know, we will be able to handle your insurance for you. This property should only be about 80 bucks a month to uh, insure, and we do insurance in many states. So click in the show notes below if you'd like to lower your rental property insurance on any of your rentals uh, across the United States. Water, sewer, you as landlord got to pay. That's going to be 150 Lawn care, we, we cut about 16 to 18 times a year here in the Cleveland market, so it averages out to 44 bucks a month. PM, 110 so on average, you're bringing in 1100 You should on average spend 715 Now that doesn't mean that it's going to happen every month. You're going to have periods where things are running well, and then you're going to have periods where things are running not so well, right? It's pr pretty clear, right, that these, these folks living here are not super high-quality folks, right? Like, you know, that backyard was pretty crummy. They're just throwing crap everywhere. It didn't look too hot. So that's part of C-Class investing. You're going to deal uh, with difficult folks, right? Uh, you're going to have tenants that are not necessarily ideal. We may have that. We may not. Uh, the listing agent's notes were that they're both uh, on month to month, but they're relatively difficult to deal with. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily the tenant's fault or if that's the fault of how the listing agent goes about selling the property. I haven't heard of this company before, so I've never done business with them. But if I haven't heard of them before, that means they're not selling a lot of rental properties in Cleveland because I am the number one seller of rentals. So, you know, if you're doing a decent amount of rental business in Cleveland, I know about it. Uh, they're, you know, providing limited pictures and then they're having people do showings. When we sell properties on our show, the Investment Properties for Sales show, we don't do showings. We do one video tour and we make people bid off of the, uh, the video, right? Because you can't just keep bothering these tenants, man. They get pissed off. You know how many looky-loos and tire kickers there are in this business just wasting everybody's time? That's why we do the video tour. We're all about transparency, but we give you the video tour. Then you got to make your offer contingent on inspection. I want people to bring an inspector in there. None of this like, oh, yeah. Uh, contingent on walkthrough. No, man, screw that. If you're going to have our staff go in there and disrupt these tenants' lives, I want a commitment out of you that you are ready, willing, and able to buy that property. So we will give you the video tour so you can see exactly what you're getting. And then after that, when somebody actually does bother those tenants, I want it under contract. I want to have seen your proof of funds. I want to know that you got earnest money coming. And more importantly, I want to know that you're willing to spend five, six hundred, uh, three, three, four, five, six hundred bucks, depending on the size of the of the particular property. I want to know you're willing to spend that to hire a home inspector to get in there, right? I don't want uh, this stuff where guys just walk in there and yeah, you know what? I'm not really feeling. It. I don't want to buy it. We're not doing that a hundred times to bother tenants. So I don't know if that's what this particular realtor is doing. I don't know if that's why he's running into issues with his tenants or if the tenants are just complete fucking maniacs. Uh, both are plausible, right? It could even probably be a, a combination of both, but th that's my thoughts on how that works. And, you know, because of the success of Holton Wise TV and that show, the Investment Properties for Sale show, that's why we are the number one seller of rentals in Cleveland because it's just far more efficient, right? So 
with that said, though, right, they could still be difficult, so you could still run into some issues. Um, you know, everything could be cool, and then boom, we got to evict these tenants, and then you got, you know, three, four thousand dollar turnover costs, things of that nature. So on average, you should spend seven fifteen, but it's not going to be like uh, the clockwork. It's going to be some good months, and then some rough months, and then some good months. That leaves you with an NOI of three eighty five, or four thousand six hundred twelve a year. Uh, that would just be a, a small cap, a 5.1 cap, and then you're financing this. So that would require you to put down 22475 You get a small mortgage, 67425 Your mortgage would be 341 So you should expect to clear 4092 a year on average. That is a net cash flow after mortgage of 44 bucks a month or 500 Twenty dollars a year on average, which is a cash on cash return of two point three percent. Two point three percent, a motto for a property that we may or may not have some pretty rough tenants in there. And I'm telling you, that's a good thing. That is awesome. That is what I love about this property. That's why this thing has been on the market for so long at eighty nine nine. That's why nobody wants it. This picture right here that scares everybody is why I like this deal. The fact that these numbers are crummy is why I like these deal. this deal. In your paperwork to me, your information to me, you said that you are hoping to get at least 150 per door or 300 bucks a month on a duplex. You would like uh, <clears throat> your partner, to, you want her to be able to stay home and take care of your kids um, so you, you want to make sure that, uh, you can have one parent staying at home. I mean, that's, that's a very admirable goal. I'm very happy to say that, uh, my wife no longer has to work. She raises our son, you know, she's at home with our son and, uh, I, I love it. And being able to, uh, do that was something that I'm the most, you know, that's one of the most proud accomplishments I've had in my real estate career to be able to make enough money. Uh, through my real estate businesses to allow her to stay at home. And she had a she had a pretty damn good job, man. She was a nurse, right? Nurses make pretty good money. Um, so for our family to be in a position where she could just walk away from a you know, sixty, seventy thousand dollar a year salary in the Cleveland market, that's big. And you can do that with real estate investing. So I guess the question is like, all right, James, you understand my goals, but uh, you're missing the mark here, dude. I'm hoping to make like three hundred and you're giving me a kind of sketchy looking property where I'm only gonna make about forty four and you keep telling me there's some hidden value. What is it? Well, the hidden value lies in that staircase. All of these big huge duplexes in the Cleveland market, they have these very big attics, okay? Super large attics. Most of the time it's cost prohibitive to to fix them up and put a third unit in there. Reason being you need two forms of egress, okay, which this already has. That's a huge cost. In addition, just like the cost in general to actually run plumbing up there, run electrical up there. It, it's usually cost prohibitive. But with this particular property in the notes, the agents have said that 75% of the work is already done and there's already a kitchen and bath, right? So it's 75% done and they've already put in that egress for you. So what that tells me is for a pretty minimal amount of money, you could go in, we could go in and we could finish that off and we could turn this duplex into a triplex and we won't have a problem with zoning because the biggest thing is going to be that second form of egress, that second exit. And that's what that outdoor staircase was. That's what I love. In addition to that, dude, the rents on this thing, if you're just looking at these two particular units, they, you know, it doesn't look that hot. They are actually, the market rents without going Section 8 is actually way higher. They're bringing in 1100 But when we eventually move those tenants out, because eventually you're going to want to move them out. I'm not saying you do that the day you buy the property. We'll see how things go. We could slowly raise their rents because, you know, both those units didn't look too hot, man. You're going to get a pretty, you know, a few thousand dollars, probably 5000 and up on each one of those units to actually turn those over. And then we start adding premium upgrades to maximize your... Uh, <clears throat> your rentability, you're, you're going to spend some money. So you don't want to immediately buy it, kick everybody out, right? They're still paying some money to you. So collect that money till a natural turnover occurs, because believe me, it will. But eventually, when you turn both those units over, dude, we are looking at $750 per unit. So that right there, that's $1,500 a month. In addition to the $1,500 a month, 
you can rent out that third floor. It's uh, going to be like more or less a studio. We'll be able to rent that third floor unit out. I think we should probably be able to get about 450. So that's going to be approximately 1950 a month in rent. So that is $850 more than we are currently getting. So right now, yeah, it's projecting that you're only going to make about 44 bucks a month. However, there's another $850 a month on the table that nobody else is factoring in. And as far as your goal of pricing, you're hoping to stay under $79.9. I think we can do that, man, because at $89.9, it's just not moving, dude. Nobody else wants it. It looks like a crummy investment. It's been on the market forever. 212 days man let's go in there and let's put in an aggressive offer let's go ahead and start this the bidding in the mid 70s let's offer like 74 and see what happens it appears that ain't nobody else is looking at this thing nobody else is realizing that there's another 850 bucks a month on the table that nobody's capitalizing and so no reason you need to pay 89.9 for this when nobody else is buying it let's you know let's throw some low offers out there 73 74 75 and let's feel that seller out. Let's see what they're thinking. And uh, then if you were to rerun all your numbers with our new price point and the new projected rents, and then maybe throw in another, I don't know, uh, fifteen to 20000 over the next few years uh, for, some, for some upgrades and renovations, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to increase a couple of, you know, one or two of the, one of the two tenants' rents up to like 650 700 without doing a reno. Maybe we'll, maybe we won't. Who knows? There's there's going to be some open-ended variables, but the moral of the story is, Amato, there is a lot of opportunity here, and that's why I chose this deal for you. Uh, if you want to buy this one, of course, just shoot us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we'll start the negotiations. We'll, we'll talk things through with you a little bit more if uh, you want some more advice on the bidding strategy. But I think this could be the move for you. And now that you have a second video coming out to you afterwards, I want you to tell me uh, what direction you want to go on the second video. Do we want to stick with our price point and find another property similar to this? Or is that picture that's scaring a lot of other people, is it still scaring you a little bit? And maybe you want to go a different direction, possibly increase your, your budget and aim for maybe singles uh, or increase your budget really high up to uh, you know above 150 because you are approved for 200 and we'll get you something real nice in Parma that is super low risk and you know having to deal with folks living in a property that looks like this is going to be much, much more infrequent for you. Um, it's up to you, man. Like I said, this video, this video is about you. It's about building your portfolio and uh, me just giving you as much advice and uh, market knowledge as I possibly can. You know, tap into my team's resources to build the best business for you. That's all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Whoa, for the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. 
Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.